Hey guys, KP Jax here. Today we'll be doing a review on the free screen recorder or the screen recorder through Invisibility Limited. It's a pretty cool app. Uh, works on just about every tablet and phone out there and it doesn't require root which is why I decided to use it because I don't root all my devices. I have a Galaxy S3 and I have a Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. Uh, both running Android 4.4. So this app is pretty cool. Uh, records audio gestures and uh, video records your screen. And really easy to use. So what you do is you go to the Android Marketplace and you type in recordable. Recordable. R-E-C-O-R-D-A-B-L-E. And it should come up pretty much being the first thing that's out there. Um, once you get it downloaded and installed you are going to have to do a couple of things. It does require a PC or a Mac in order to assist with the uh, installation. So now once you've gotten it installed, you're going to run the app and it's going to examine your system. It's going to pop up and ask you to go to this website, which is recordable.mobi forward slash install. So you can open up your web browser and you're going to click on the link for Windows or for a Mac depending on which OS you're running. And once you do that, you should see the download to begin. It should just take a minute, it's about 30 meg file. So you're going to run the executable on a Windows machine, that's what I ran mine on, and you're just going to follow the prompts. Pretty much just clicking next right on through the menus. There is an option to install some universal USB drivers if you don't have them or if your system doesn't happen to see your phone. Um, my phone I just upgraded to 4.4 through AT&T and uh, I had an issue with uh, installing. So uh, during the install it's going to ask you for permission to basically attach your phone to this machine. have start, countdown, stop, a frame rate, a scale, quality, using the uh, hardware to uh, assist with recording. Uh, you have the ability to record audio and you have the ability to draw on the screen. Clicking on the start option gives you either the option to start immediately or as soon as you switch applications, which means as soon as you close out of the recordable program, um, like back to your main screen, it'll give you a five second countdown to get where you need to be. Which means it gives you five seconds to launch whatever app you're trying to launch to record on your screen. The next menu is the stop menu. You can either have the uh, program stop as soon as you enter the program again, or you can tell it to um, stop by pressing the back button. The next menu is our frame rate menu. Frames are very important when recording. The uh, lower the frame rate, the choppier um, the video. So the higher the frame rate, the better. The free version goes up to 8 frames per second, which when recording is uh, pretty much horrible. And after that, uh, when you purchase it, you can go up to 30 frames or unlimited. Uh, all these are recorded, um, the, the video section before was recorded with the uh, unlimited frame. You're also going to have to choose which resolution that you want to record in. I chose the high def uh, selection within this app, which is 6400 kilobits per second. And uh, 6400 kilobits per second is about 50 megabytes per second which really in the aspect of things isn't all that huge. These videos that the uh, app produces are not that large. The uh, videos that I actually shot with this turned out to be, uh, for the download video, was about 11 megabytes. And for the uh, review piece, actually clicking through the install and doing all that uh, was about 25 megabytes. Next, we decide on how we want to record audio, if you want to record audio. 
I don't record audio when doing my apps unless I'm going to uh, record a game or record a specific function. But this app gives you the option of uh, three different levels of quality for your uh, audio recording. The first one is 32 kilobits a second, 64 kilobits a second, and 128 kilobits per second. That doesn't really mean a whole lot. 32 is generally acceptable uh, for speech. Um, 64 is uh, usually okay for speech or maybe low quality streaming and 128 uh, kilobits is usually pretty good. Uh, it's kind of mid-range bitrate quality, not the best, but it's uh, but generally acceptable for that. And uh, you can get higher, but not with this app. Going up to about 320 kilobits, if this app did it, that would be uh, more of a uh, MP3 style uh, supported audio. The next menus that you come to are the drawing menus, which basically means um, you can trace your steps on the screen. And uh, you can select the color of the trace if you want, kind of like mouse trails if you've ever used those. But it basically just shows where on the screen you are in case you want somebody to actually see um, your physical location, like where you're clicking or where you're dragging your finger across your tablet or your smartphone. So now, once you've gotten everything set up and you go back to the main menu, since there's only two screens, up in the top you'll see that little square with a dot in it, which is basically your uh, I'm ready to start recording button. So you'll press that, and the next screen you get is uh, going to be what your file name is. It's just a generic file name, and it basically shows if you're recording audio or not. And so here on this screen, what you see is it says switch to another application to start recording. So as soon as I close out, what it does is basically you get a countdown, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then it starts recording. And it will record, for me, um, where it says right there at the bottom to stop recording, return to the recordable application. So I can do whatever I want on my phone or my tablet, and it will record everything up until the point that I re-enter the recording app, and then it will save the video back on the main screen and allow me to review it or share it or delete it or pretty much do whatever I want to with it. Uh, I like to upload them to Dropbox. You can also upload them directly to YouTube or Facebook or pretty much wherever your phone uh, has normal sharing capabilities. So with all that, the review's completed. I'm happy with the app. I hope you are. I hope this review helped you. Uh, like, subscribe. I'm going to try to do a review of an app uh, hopefully at least once a week. Uh, if you have questions, let me know.